What's my mother name? What's up guys, Kdub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video and the update is here, 6.0.2 and guys, I had a major scare last night. Okay, right when maintenance ended, I clicked on the app, it loaded right up, I'm seeing everything that you guys are seeing right now and I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird, like, there's no like actual update I don't have to update the app but then I, I, I click on the maintenance I see that it says yeah 6.0.2 and you're not able to play unless you update the app so I go to the app store I take a look and it says update like there's an update available so I'm like well I better update this app I update it then it would not let me in and I'm freaking out like I kept, it kept taking me to the app store said it was already updated I'd go back and tell me there's a new version you need to update it I'm freaking out I go to bed, I wake up, everything was fine, it lets me right in, it, it, it's crazy, I don't know how it let me in before I even updated, and then once I updated it didn't let me in, but I was freaking out, but everything's good, there's an 80% gem sale guys, if you're ever going to spend money on the game, now's the time, you're not going to get a better rate ever, this is the best gem sale that they ever do, $7.99 for 876 gems, and then you can get 360 gems for $3.99, which you can buy twice, basically one penny one cent per gem you're not going to get a better rate so you know if you're ever going to spend money on the game guys you definitely don't want to miss out on that now there's no new banner or new figures but we do have a new 10 pack 10 pack b and every figure comes with a chain one so that's really awesome it's kind of like the new year's banner if you guys remember that every figure that you get you're getting a chain level so ex is you're essentially getting two for the price of one um, you know, same with the UXs. Rares, you're basically getting four, and for uncommons, you're basically getting ten of the same figure. It's pretty insane. Um, Mega Mewtwo X, Mega Mewtwo Y, Nihiligo, all have been added to the time boosters, so definitely really exciting for free-to-play players. Uh, even, you know, just players who don't care about spending money on the game, because you, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on the game, is sometimes you just cannot pull the Pokemon. Uh, and then you're going to have to just accumulate material and craft them. But uh, it's always nice whenever they add really good Pokemon to the time boosters. New team event coming. Nothing too exciting. Rush, Zek, Kyurem. Let me know in the comments, guys. Who are you going to go with? I haven't made my mind up yet, but I'm probably going to go with um, Rush. Yeah, I think I like Rush Rom best. Uh, if you pick your team, you get a booster enhancer. If you auto-select, you get three. What to do? I never auto-select, guys. I always pick my my team. It's going to start on the 20th of April. It's going to run to the 23rd, 7.59 UTC. So basically, all day on the 22nd is going to be the last day for the event. Shiny Gyarados is back. Shiny Magikarp. Um, it would be nice to pull them, but at the same time, there's no new ability. So I don't really care. I don't really, you know, play in these team events just because the matchmaking is so horrible but you guys definitely want to prepare because the rewards is what's exciting getting those achievement rewards so save your rainbow boosters save your gold boosters even though you're not able to enhance them you still do get points out of them just make sure they're already unlocked guys make sure they're unlocked you don't want to have a 24-hour booster sitting in your inventory so uh, you know it might be smart to play get all your boosters loaded up and then maybe not play for a day. And then you'll get a, bot, uh, a dark bot if you don't play for 24 hours. So you'll be able to start off the event, open all your boosters, play a bot, get a booster right away, get that going, and then jump into the event. But then they have kind of like, what is the pre-tournament? Well, it's basically going to be like the tournament to give you an idea of how the features work. Uh, there is going to be rewards, though they differ from the main rewards. Also, it lets you know that to compete, you have to be at least 1,500 which is super easy, you only play bots up to that point, uh, you know, and then after 1500 you play real people, I believe, uh, how do you know if you win, they're going to let you know based at the, or when the event's concluded, so, I don't know, it looks like you're just going to be grinding matches, and whoever is a hardcore diehard player, they're going to be accumulating points, and I don't know, it's not really the format I was looking for, but we'll have to see. But based off everything that they've been showing us, I'm not too excited. And then they're just advertising decks if you want to know how you can compete and get stronger. You know, electric decks, speed, rush decks, UV decks. These are really expensive decks, really. They're advertising, which they are pretty good decks. They're not bad. But uh, 
yeah, I'm not, I'm not too excited about this pre-tournament or the actual tournament. Like, I wanted to see a bracket-style tournament where you enter and then you play against players. Whether I don't even care if it was single elimination. I was fine with it, but we'll see. We'll see. And then kind of the coolest thing we've seen in terms of shiny Pokemon, shiny Mega Gengar and shiny Gengar. Like, my favorite shiny Pokemon is shiny Mega Gengar, kind of tied up with uh, shiny Charizard. But um, you have to, you don't have to, but you can buy them. Basically, you're going to get a really crappy gem stash, <laughs> which is way overpriced, but you are getting the figure. So they have a $6.99 for the EX and then an $8.99 for the uh, Mega. So, is it worth it? If you guys already have Gengar and Mega Gengar, no. It's absolutely not worth it. You're basically like paying for just a, a new skin and... Like, I have Mega Gengar and Gengar, so um, I don't know. We'll get into that a little bit more, but I also got this booster ticket, which I thought Fodder got his a little while ago, but this just showed up in my inbox today. So it was for the refrigerator plate, uh, withdrawn plate, I don't know. Like, I bought the plate, I checked, I still have it, but they give me a booster ticket anyway, so I don't know, definitely take that. We'll take our uh, monthly extra login bonus. Which, after getting this new gem sale, I should be able to get the uh, the other UX cube and the EX cube for the 15,000 points. So, pretty excited about that. But, yeah, I'm kind of upset about the way they're, you know, they did Shiny Mega Gengar. Like, I really wanted to see him with a new ability, and there's no new ability. So, 899 and 699 Now, just so you guys know, if you think, well, hey, I have... Gengar, all I need is Mega Gengar. Like, no. To evolve a shiny Pokemon, you have to evolve from a shiny Pokemon. So you have to buy the set. Like, you can't just buy one or the other, right? So, the obviously, the best gem sale in the game is the 80% off for $7.99. All the points equal out about the same. Like, whatever cash you're going to be spending on the game, you get the, uh, you know... The, the, the same amount of points, like it's the same ratio, right? Uh, but if you take a look at the gems that they're going to be giving you for getting Mega Gengar and Gengar, it's basically the same cash to gem ratio as the 799 gem stash with no sale. So you get 120 gems. I don't think it's worth it, guys. Not if you already have Gengar and Mega Gengar. Like my Gengar is chain level 10. And I think my Mega Gengar has like two chain levels. They're both level five. I didn't put Carmenite into them. But it's just, there's no point. There's no point. Like, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> they look awesome. Don't get me wrong. But for the money, yeah. $7.99 if you see for 120 gems. If you like divide the $8 by the 120, it's going to equal out about the same. It's about six, a little over six, like 6.6 .6 cents per gem. Versus the $7.99 deal and the $3.99 deal, which you're, which you're paying only one cent per gem. So it's, it's really overpriced. Like, it's kind of just like, hey, here's a few gems. But you're essentially buying the shiny Mega and the shiny EX form of Gengar. So, again, if you guys want those Pokemon and you've been saving up, then it's, also, it's actually a really good deal. Versus spending 9,000 material, like... That's equivalent to almost $240, somewhere around that. $240, like you can craft them in the shop. You don't have to buy them, you know? But that's like that's why I, I really hang on to my materials, guys, because that's like spending 9,000 gems for two Pokemon that are relatively old, and I haven't even been using mine. Like I really would like to start using Gengar and Mega Gengar again, but yeah. I'm not going to be getting them. Uh, if you guys have been saving up for Gengar, make a Gengar, then it, it definitely is worth it. I would rather spend, it's like 17 bucks with tax. I'd rather spend that than spend 9,000 material all day. But, uh, you know, the abilities are the same. There's nothing different about the wheels. Uh, they look really cool. I, I like the shiny Mega Gengar. I think I like regular Gengar better than the shiny Gengar, to be honest. I don't know. It's like a, a blueberry. It kind of looks like a blueberry. But uh, the the Mega form is sick. 
I definitely like the Mega Form, but I like regular Gengar better, to be honest. Yeah, same exact abilities, guys. So, and, and keep in mind, don't think, like, well, I have Gengar or I have the Mega, I just need the other one. Like, if you're going to get the Shinies, you have to get them both. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use... The, well, I mean, you can just get the Gengar, but, yeah, you're not going to be able to use the Mega unless you have the Shiny Gengar as well. So, uh, we're going to take a look at these 10 packs. Mega Altaria, I'd actually really like to get that. I would like to get a second Feromosa, and I still don't have Mega Sableye, but I don't really care if I get it, because I don't think it's that great. I would definitely go for another Speed Form. I only have one. I wouldn't mind having like two or three Speed Forms to try a really annoying Rush deck. A second Zoroark would be awesome. I don't have a Beware. Um, a third Altaria. Uh, another Tapu Fini would be really cool, especially with the Mega Altaria. Solgaleo Chains, a third Coco, Terrakion Chains, Sceptile Chains. Uh, you know, I don't use my Deoxys attack form, but if I was able to get some chains on it, I don't know, still a base 140 to level 10, it's it's, it's worth it. Uh, there's some decent rares. Zerua, Mimikyu, Sableye, don't really want any more Cosmog. Golisopod, maybe to help put some chain levels. Uh, Kimbuskin, Grovile, definitely need chains on Grovile. I only have one Poliwrath. So, um, decent uncommons, kind of, like, there's some good ones in here. Vibrava, Poliwhirl, Panjam, uh, Phantom, you know, I guess Lampant, too, Wimpod. I only had, like, a couple Wimpods, so, I don't know. There's, there's definitely some decent Pokemon in this 10-pack. So, it does kind of depend on what you need, but there's definitely some meta Pokemon in here. So... I think you need to ask yourself, like, what deck are you currently running? What are you missing? And what are you hoping to get? Because we're not going to be seeing, it looks like, a new banner till maybe May 1st. I really want to get this Magnet Play, too. I wasn't able to get it when it first dropped. And the only other 10-pack or, like, recommended boosters that was in was the uh, other 10-pack that we, we just lost. Like, it was, like, the Psychic one that also had the 15% drop rate. So yeah, I want that Magnet Blade, but it looks like we're not going to be getting a new banner or new figures till May 1st. And it looks like the loyalty banner changes on April 30th, so I am going to be saving my tickets to maybe try to pull the Rantis or new banner Pokemon. But I'm definitely going to open up at least one of these new 10 packs, see how it goes. We might do two, but I, I got to buy some gems first. So we are definitely loaded up on gems now, guys. Tia, you are a legend. We love you guys. Leave a like for Tia, and I hope we're able to pull some Pokemon that we want. We're going to get a chain level on every single figure that we pull, and hopefully we're going to pull something that we actually want and we need. We're going to definitely open up this ticket first. Might as well. I still need a Lorantis. So I'm really hoping to get a Lorantis, but uh, no, I'm not expecting too much. So, okay, we're going to be starting with the good... No, it's going to be an EX to start. Let's go. Come on. Oh, man, it's another Trevenant. Oh, man, that's going to be like a third? Third or, yeah, maybe third or fourth chain level. So, hey, it's starting off with an EXO. So, wow. That, that's good. That, that's a good sign to think. So, we got to jump back. Tia, thank you for starting us off with an EX. Now, I hope we can start off with a brand new EX out of these 10 packs. Uh, too bad Lorantis is not available. I'd really like to get one. I don't know. I don't, I don't want it bad enough to craft it, but we definitely want a second Zorark. We definitely, a speed form would be cool. So I could try to run like a double uh, Deoxys speed. It's turn, turn gold. Come on. Okay, Flygon. You can never trust the lights, guys. You can never trust the lights. But all right, come on. All right, we're getting another gold. Oh, I'm not going to turn over. Zerua. Alright, that's going to be a chain level on Zerua. I know I have one or two. I might even have three. I'm not sure. But I know for sure we got at least one chain level. Another gold. Come on, turn over. Yes! There we go. No, that isn't even that uh, second Feromosa. That is exactly what I wanted to see, guys. That is insane. I really wanted a second one. I cannot believe we just got a UX just like that. Out of our like first 10 pack again. An EX out of a single ticket. We've been getting nothing but rares and we get a UX. 
Okay, we finally get an uncommon. Woo! Let's go. All right, now I'm feeling good. Like, it's it's always nice whenever you get that really good pull, and then you, it kind of takes the stress off of, like, feeling like you need to get something clutch to make it feel, you know, worth it or justify spending that 500 gems. So, Phantoms, you know, we're good with that. Chain level on the Phantom. I'm, I'm fine with that. Come on. Hopefully that's not going to be our only pull, but even if it is, I'm good with it. If that's all we get is one Faramosa, I'm good with that. Come on, Tia. Come on, Tia. Give us something else. Boom. Dude, that is UX lights? Woohoo! Yo! And we get the Mega Altaria. That is... A Dude, those were the two main ones that I wanted to get. I wanted a Faramosa, or a second one, and I, I didn't get that Mega Altaria yet. Come on, let's keep it going. Boom! It there's another EX. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, Terrakion. All right. That's cool. That's two chain levels for my Terrakion. I have three Terrakion right now. So I'm going to be able to put that into my best Terrakion. And that's two chain levels right away. Going to be another uncommon. Wimpod. All right. I'm good with a Wimpod. Come on. Can we get one more good pull? All right. It's turning over. Yo, there it is. Another EX. Come on. Zapdos. All right. Already got a chain level 10 zap, but that's going to get me uh, back up to three zap those because I had... Dude, and there's the magnet plate. This was an insane 10 pack, guys. Like, I couldn't have had any better luck than this. I mean, I guess I could. I mean, you know, you could always have better luck. But, like, two UXs, two EXs, and we get the magnet plate. Yeah, plus 20 to any electric type. So imagine putting that magnet plate and a sharp beak plate on Zapdos, right? Run it with the Altaria and Coco. Absolutely insane. And I really want to try this Mega Altaria out with Tapu Fini and Tapu Coco. So, you know, use the Banish, the blue, on both of them. Take advantage of that. Then go Mega Altaria and try to get it killed. Definitely expand the purple. I think you want Mega Altari to get knocked out. Like, that's his synergy. So, guys, you already know. We got a backup. Tia, you are a legend, guys. You definitely have to leave a like for Tia for that. Jesus. Like, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be happier. Like, those pulls could not have been any better out of that 10-pack. Like, I still kind of want to get a second uh, Deoxys Speed for him. And I do want a second Zorark. But we pretty much got exactly what we wanted. Ugh. <sighs> I, I don't know. I should probably just stop while I'm ahead. But since that was so good, let's go for one more, guys. But this is it. I don't care how good, how bad it is. We're going to stop after this one. And I'm going to save the rest of my gems for when we get a new band. Uh, starting with an uncommon. Shuppet. Okay. Uh, my Shuppet's still not chain level 10. I haven't used it in a really long time, but... Another uncommon. No, it is going to be a rare Wigglytuff. All right. So there's another chain on the Wigglytuff. He does have rounds, so, you know, uh, getting chain levels on that round is definitely always good. Okay, another uncommon. So <clears throat> we're not starting off as hot in this one as we did in the last one. I'm good with the Bronzor. Bronzor's a good uncommon for sure. Oh, man, another uncommon. Oh, Swablu. I already have three, so... Uh, Swablu's got round, though, so chain levels on the Swablu is pretty good. Though I hate Swablu, I just hate going up against them. The matches are boring. Come on. <sighs> Freaking Flygon. Another uncommon... Wow, this 10-pack is pretty bad. Come on, Tia. There's still time to, to, to come back, all right? Let's make this one worth it, please. Gold. Come on, turn over. Man, we're just not... Come on, be a glitch. No, it's going to be a Sableye. All right, I have a chain level 10 Sableye. Two... Well, I have three Sableye. Two of them are level 10. One's chain level 10. The other one's like chain level 4 or so. And I have one that's chain level 1. Another rare. Come on, be a glitch. No, it's going to be a Mimikyu. All right. I think I have two Mimikyu. So, that'll be my third Mimikyu. 
I uh, don't think I'd want to fuse it away. Another uncommon. Wow. Yeah, it looks like we're only going to be getting one EX. Poliwhirl's good, though. Still need to get a chain level 10 on my Poliwhirl. Come on. Be, be Zorark. I really want to get a second Zorark. Another rare? What the heck? No, that's our guaranteed EX. We get a third Altaria. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's kind of cool to have three of them, but I don't think I'd be running three Altaria. I don't know. I just, I, I don't really like those deck styles, but I don't know. I mean, we got Sableye, Mimikyu. It wasn't, it wasn't horrible. It would have been nice to get a second Magnet Plate, but I don't know. I guess it could have been worse. I don't know. We got three Altaria now, but Tia, you definitely hooked us up. This is, like, we had insane luck on our first 10 back. And then we get an EX out of our single boost. So I'd say this was a success, guys. Two UXs, a bunch of EXs for 1,000 gems. What more do you want? Uh, I think that's going to wrap this one up, though, guys. So definitely leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Follow me on Twitter, kdub175. And until the next one, later, guys.